Yeah, this hour, uh, we can report based on our law enforcement sources and other media outlets that there is a 39-year-old male in custody. His name is Daryl E. Brooks Jr. Um, he's a felon. He's got an extremely extensively long criminal record. Uh, what can you tell us about that uh, specifically now that, again, the AP local law enforcement have confirmed uh, this individual has at least been taken into custody, 39-year-old uh, Daryl Brooks? Of course, a lot of people, Jim, still wondering about motivation. Uh, could we have any more answers on that question? Yeah, we're waiting for that right now from the police chief. Um, he did tell us that they are currently investigating that. His quote was, they're looking to see if this had any nexus to terrorism. Um, I will say, you know, <clears throat> we're coming off of the, uh, just an hour away from here is Kenosha, where we had the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. There have been rumors circulating, people speculating that it could be based on, you know, the verdict. Um, we've also heard reports that uh, Mr. Brooks had been involved in a stabbing incident earlier and was just attempting to flee the scene. Those are both issues that are being looked into. Another thing, too, when you go with that name again, Daryl Brooks, 39-year-old, reported from the Associated Press, them speaking to sources there uh, on anonymity. Um, he is no, this person that's reported as a person of interest is no stranger uh, to the law and, and does have a rap sheet. Um, they're in Milwaukee County, uh, two open criminal cases um, allegedly charged with resisting or obstructing an officer, reckless homicide, disorderly conduct, bail jumping, and battery records showing uh, he posted a bond at $500. Uh, this was uh, as a very re this was November 19th, I believe. So this would this would be uh, yeah. a day ago. You're correct. Yeah, three days ago, uh, multiple charges, uh, felonies, and he just got off with a thousand dollar bail. And that's typical here in Milwaukee County. We at Wisconsin right now have been writing on this all year on this problem. Mm. Again, um, the fact that he was back out after he posted that $500 cash bond on November 19th. Jim, if we could talk about uh, the victims in this incident here, in this uh, attack, again, as we learn details about possible motivations behind it, five individuals who were killed. I don't believe we know the identity of those individuals. Uh, more than 40 who were injured at this time. Talk to me, Jim, about who was participating in this parade and who were those who were hurt? Yeah, so <clears throat> this Waukesha parade is an annual event. Um, five killed, 40 injured is the update. Um, there were a lot more that walked into the hospital. Um, you know, there was a red SUV uh, that went right through the, the parade route. It struck the Waukesha South High School band. Graphic video on that. I would encourage people not to watch it. It made me almost want to vomit. Um, it hit um, the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies. Um, they annually, they dance, and, and, and they're devastated this morning. There was a Facebook post. They're still waiting to hear from injuries on those people. Um, just, just a, just a tragedy for this town. Yeah, it's so sad, and and again, we're still waiting to hear from authorities. That'll be this afternoon. Uh, mm -hmm. Noon. Jim P. Buvercheck joining us live. Jim, thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest-growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.